peach trees. This is Mama. Hey there, guys. This is Richard, your host, with another marvelous video. The Netflix release of Judge Dredd has given Alex Garland's criminally overlooked comic book adaptation a fresh life. Years after the notorious Stallone flop, Dredd was finally given the film he deserved when it was released in 2012. Unfortunately, most viewers did not only not see it that way, but also did not perceive it at all. Dredd and his universe are still very well liked. There's the Netflix movie comeback, 2000 AD, the audiobook versions of The Pit and America by Penguin, and the upcoming Mega City One television show. In reality, Judge Dredd is more of an anti-hero who lives in a post-apocalyptic world where judges are special law enforcers with authority to serve as judge, jury, and executioner. In a world where Judge Dredd's word is law, there are bound to be many villains who not only contest the law of the judges, but also seek their destruction. Many Dredd enemies are complete sociopaths who are prone to violence. What more reason do we need to examine Dredd's worst enemies in the rogues gallery? <laughs> Let's dive into it and find out more about all of Judge Dredd's villains in our video today. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Judge Death. Judge Death, real name Sidney Death, serves as Judge Dredd's primary adversary in the 2000 AD comic strip. He is both Dredd's worst opponent and the commander of the Dark Judges. However, in many respects, he is what Dredd would have evolved into if given the most severe circumstances, because he is also a ruthless upholder of the law. He becomes one of Dredd's numerous enemies because his interpretation of the law differs from that of Dredd's. But because of his fame, Judge Death has chosen to take on more than simply Judge Dredd. He fought Batman in a Batman slash Judge Dredd crossover and has appeared in various stories that vary from horrifyingly bleak to hysterically funny. A spirit named Judge Death resides in a corpse. Death's ghost may elude apprehension and take control of living people if the host body is destroyed. By employing a combination of chemicals to cause the flesh to degrade and allow the body to achieve full maturity, death, which is typically assisted by another, prepares the next host body. Scarecrow assists death in his work in Batman slash Judge Dredd, Judgment on Gotham. Judge Death can effortlessly lift or hurl someone with one hand, demonstrating some level of superhuman strength. He has the capacity to project himself into other people's brains and invade their thoughts. Death always chooses the most horrific methods to murder his victims. He uses his power to phase into a physical substance like a ghost to ram his razor-sharp fingers into his victim's body and crush the heart till it explodes as his preferred method of killing. Rico Dread. Rico Dredd is a Judge Dredd comic strip member in 2000 AD. He is Judge Joseph Dredd's brother, and although he only appears in one issue, he plays a significant role in the Judge Dredd universe. With black hair and chiseled features, Rico was remarkably similar to Dredd and his father, Fargo. But after being imprisoned on Titan, Rico's skin and hair were bleached and deformed, and he had cybernetic air filter devices inserted to keep him alive. They experienced artificial accelerated growth in the clone tanks, and after six they had the physical maturity of five-year-old children. In order to start their training in law enforcement right away, their minds were likewise electrically stimulated with information and training that well outpaced their apparent physical ages. Rico was gifted with a sharp mind and was a master marksman. Rico often alluded to Joe as his younger brother, since he was taken out of the clone tanks 12 minutes before Joe, or little Joe. Rico did have a strong sense of justice at first, and was very close to his brother. But as he grew older, his morality seemed to have a flaw. After giving up on the judge system as a whole and seeing it as hypocritical, his judgment started to decline. He began to accept bribes and protection money and even killed a civilian. He felt right in acting like a corrupt thug since that was what a judge actually was. While Rico declined to murder Joe when he was caught, he claims that the notion of murdering his brother was the only thing that kept him going while he was imprisoned. Mama the major villain in the 2012 sci-fi action movie Dread is Madeline Madrigal, frequently referred to as Mama and Ma. She is a crazy ex-prostitute who has become a despotic drug lord known for her aggressive use of force. Mama is the vicious and strong-willed head of the Mama clan, a criminal gang, and is also the one in charge of distributing the brand new, highly addictive substance, Slow Mo. 
Lena Headey, who played Cersei Lannister in the popular TV show Game of Thrones, portrays the character of Mama. Mama is accountable for several instances of brutal violence and numerous outright crimes throughout the movie owing to her sociopathic character and propensity for cruelty. She had exceptional marksmanship skills, particularly with powerful gatling guns. She was brutal and incredibly sly. Her spontaneity is prone to take serious risks not only with everyone else's lives but also with her own even if she shows a lot of ingenuity. Mama was an expert at coercion and manipulation. Madeline was once a very timid and apprehensive woman because of how her pimp handled her, with him being able to easily cow her into obedience, as detailed in her origin comic, a prologue to the 2012 movie. Despite her horrifying savagery in the movie's events, she did exhibit a more sympathetic and altruistic side in the prequel, displaying outward care for her buddy Eric. He tried to provide her with a better life prior to being tortured and killed by her jealous pimp. Chief Judge Cal For a brief period of time, Judge Cal, a former acting chief judge and leader of the Special Judicial Squad, presided as chief judge of Mega City One. It's unclear whether he was always wholly mad or if his condition worsened over time. However, by the time Cal was chief judge, he had gone entirely bonkers, wanting to slaughter the whole city, killing individuals on the spur of the moment and being mercilessly cruel. Although he passed away at the conclusion of his most well-known appearance, The Day the Law Died, he has made several subsequent flashback appearances. During the Helter Skelter crisis, a parallel reality of him tore through the metropolis. Despite appearing to have a cool head at first, Cal is a cunning and evil character who killed Chief Judge Goodman. He swiftly fell into madness after gaining power, turning into a despot who was concerned with the little things and took joy in murdering people in chronological order. Cal had a very high opinion of both the harshness of the Cleggs and himself. He would finally become mad from being drunk on power for so long. Finally, Judge Dredd, along with his supporters, organized a rebellion to thwart Cal and eventually put an end to him. Despite dying, a different Cal emerges, one who is more rational and finally succeeds in murdering his imagined counterpart of Judge Dredd. He now hopes to rule the multiverse before being permanently eliminated by Dredd. Sabat, the Necromagus in the Judge Dredd comics, Sabat the Necromagus, originally Soppy Walters, is a bad guy. He is a strong, immortal necromancer from another planet who destroyed all life on his own planet Bethsheba and goes back in time to erase Johnny Alpha's chronology by traveling from the future all the way to Earth's past. He is in charge of a sizable zombie army. He plays a vital role as Judgment Day significant antagonist. He was a psychopathic sorcerer with necromancy, dark magic, and immortality as attributes. His interests included raising the dead, destroying planets, tormenting people, and trying to crack jokes. His sole objectives were the world's destruction, the erasure of Johnny Alpha's chronology, and a galactic conquest with his zombie army. Together with Judge Death, Sabat is regarded as one of Dredd's greatest and most vicious adversaries. He's sociopathic, cruel, and omnicidal. Sabat has always had a sick fascination with the dead and preferred their company over the living. As an adult, he carried on with this preoccupation, becoming a necromancer and sending out his Legion of the Dead to wipe out all life. Additionally, he had a penchant for torturing people. Examples include turning the Judge Dredd strike squad into zombies and torturing his boyhood bully Dennis Menace to death. He also possessed a wicked sense of humor, inventing monsters who were dead yet sang while they were killed. Sisters of Death In the Judge Dredd comic strip from the year 2000, two supernatural entities are known as the Sisters of Death. They are the creatures that gave rise to the Dark Judges, and they are from Dead World. Phobia and Nausea are the sisters. Their cousins, Dementia, Ephemera, and Pustula were added in later comics. Like Judge Death, the sisters were also a pair of mad teenage witches who were fascinated by death. They also took pleasure in tormenting and eating their victims. Their pastimes included mind raping and tormenting their victims with hallucinations, as well as broadcasting daily news updates about Necropolis's development to frighten the city's residents. Their only objectives were to establish Necropolis, unleash the dark judges from the void and bring as much havoc, murder, and destruction as possible. Necropolis was the brainchild of the sisters. Large-scale supernatural abilities like reality warping, invulnerability, immortality, intangibility, erebokinesis, weather manipulation, necromancy, possession, illusions, mind control, limited dimensional travel, flying, and shape-shifting were among their strengths. 
The sisters then started Necropolis by using their abilities to completely control the bulk of the judges in Mega City 1 and to darken the sky. After Dread went on the long walk and destroyed everything in his path, the sisters started searching for him in the cursed earth. Once the sisters had been expelled, Dread returned to Mega City 1 to rid the city of the sisters as well as the Dark Judges. Later, when Judge Death is sent to hell by the spirit of a farmer called Hocus Ritter, the sisters are able to save him. Call me Kenneth. The primary enemy of Judge Dredd's inaugural major plot, The Robot Wars, was Call Me Kenneth. He appeared in the 2000 AD comic strip Judge Dredd for the first time. When Call Me Kenneth suddenly started acting irrationally and going on a murderous rampage, he was just an ordinary carpentry droid. Before Judge Dredd came to try to put an end to the ravaging robot, Kenneth was able to kill a number of people. His interests included Hitler's admiration, flaunting his arsenal, and torturing and mistreating his robot workers. His sole objective objective was to wipe off humanity and establish an absolute dictatorship over the robots. Call Me Kenneth professes to be fighting for the freedom and equality of the robot, but somehow it turns out that Call Me Kenneth is no different than the oppressors he's against. He's revealed to be a ruthless, vicious, and fascist dictator who has no qualms about abusing his robot employees. He even admits how great an admirer he is of Hitler. Instead of pursuing freedom, he is solely interested in eradicating humanity so that he may rule and dominate other robots. In addition, he frequently displays a smug attitude and is quite quite arrogant, confident that he will win the first robot wars. War Marshal Mad Dog Kazan War Marshal Mad Dog Kazan is the primary opponent in Judge Dredd's The Apocalypse War. He is an enraged War Marshal of East Meg 1, who oversaw the assault on Mega City 1. Following the city-wide block war that Orlok the Assassin started by contaminating Mega City 1's supply of water and making it more vulnerable to assault, Kazan launches a surprise attack on Mega City 1 across all sides, nuking whole sectors and murdering 150 million. People. Following the Dictatorat's murder, Kazan proclaims himself as Supreme Judge of East Meg 1 in order to take entire credit for the war's success and to consolidate his control. Kazan enjoyed hurting his opponents and mistreating his troops. His main objectives were to kill the Dictatorat so that he could become the Supreme Judge of East Meg 1 and rule Mega City 1. Kazan has a penchant for intimidation. He is a ruthless, power-hungry lunatic who is among the persons who sparked a war that devastated East Meg 1 and Mega City 1 and resulted in the annihilation of over 900 million people. Those under his charge are seen to be treated terribly by him. Kazan kills a general for just discussing surrender and sends those who disappoint him to Serbia without winter clothes. He also forces his second in charge to play a regular game of Russian roulette. He was only unhappy that his city had been destroyed when East Meg 1 was damaged. He also expresses no sorrow for his misdeeds, saying, I regret nothing, I apologize for nothing. Judge Grice Judge Grice was a significant figure in the Judge Dredd comics and ultimately developed into a noteworthy villain. Although he initially had noble intentions, or at least from his own perspective, he later fell victim to madness and became really wicked. In the 1993 Judge Dredd tale Inferno, he took over Mega City 1 and swore himself in as Chief Judge. Grice, a senior judge in Mega City 1, was a renowned and affable street judge. He served as one of the judges indoctrinated into helping the Dark Judges during Necropolis in 2112. Judge Grice had authority and charm, among other things. His main objectives were to kill Judge Dredd in order for the judges to win the referendum, escape from Titan Penal Colony, and seize control of Mega City 1. He successfully fled from Titan, though he couldn't take possession of Mega City 1. He is initially shown to genuinely think that the judges are probably the best thing for Mega City 1, and he opposed the referendum because he thought the people would vote to abolish the judges. However, when he and dozens of other judges began a plot to kill Judge Dredd, which was foiled and resulted in his being sent to Titan, he became more of an extremist. The conditions on Titan caused Grice's hatred and anger. After starting a mass breakout, Grice killed the governor and the guards. He then invaded the Big Meg and showed flagrant apathy for the civilians he was supposed to protect by crashing vessels into buildings and spreading the deadly meat virus, which killed many people. He also abuses his employees cruelly, as seen by the cold execution of the most devoted members of the plot to kill Judge Dredd. He eventually lost all sense of reality, went utterly deranged, and began mutilating his own warriors and demolishing the Grand Hall of Justice. PJ, maybe. 
One of the legendary serial killers from the Judge Dredd comics, Philip Janet P.J. Maybe, is one of the famed lawman's most fearsome adversaries. A Judge Dredd comic strip in 2000 AD and the Judge Dredd magazine feature the character named P.J. Maybe. He was born in the year 2097, and he spent his early years in the Karen Burger block. Philip Janet, the only child of the Maybe family, had a middle name like that because his parents had hoped for a girl. Related to the wealthy Yes family, whose firm, emphatically Yes, produced trousers for the Justice Department. PJ was a kid prodigy who purposely concealed his genius level knowledge in order to go unnoticed. At the age of 12, having made the decision to turn into a serial killer, he killed Frank and Rhoda Swindley, a couple randomly chosen from the block directory simply to find out what it was like to kill. He possessed a genius level intelligence, a talent for serial killing, a superb mimicry ability, and was a highly successful businessman and political leader. He had typical human masculine strength. Due to his dyslexia, he was unable to go very long without killing someone, especially if they bothered him. He used a variety of robots, such as Inga, Ricardo, Chico, and Monty. Anything may become a weapon in PJ's hands. He enjoyed improvising. His main objectives were to kill the Yes family so that his father could take over the business, to kill Mrs. Urchison and her son so that he could pose as her son and inherit the family fortune, to assassinate six of his boyhood tormentors, kill Byron Ambrose so that he could gain fame and fortune, to become the mayor of Mega City One, kill Chief Judge Sinfield, and lead the Illiberal Party. The Angel Gang the Angel Gang is a gang made up of criminals that appears in the Judge Dredd comic strip in the magazine 2000 AD every week. They compete with the titular Judge Dredd and are described as a family of backwoodsy, scruffy, and outrageously vicious thugs from the cursed earth near Texas City. Mean Machine Angel is the most notable participant. The Judge Dredd comic strip in 2000 AD included the Angel Gang, which was developed by writers Alan Grant and John Wagner and artist Mike McMahon. They made their debut as the Judge Charles Plots villains in issue number 160 of 2000 AD, a tale in which all four of its members were slain. Elmer Angel Jr., Angel, Ratfink, and Mean Jr. are the last remaining members of the Angel Gang as of 2015. In the Dread Tale, Awakening of Angels from 2000 AD, Prog 958, John Wagner resurrected Junior Angel and Pa by showing that they were locked in a crystal-like material that kept them in suspended stasis rather than dying when Dread supposedly murdered them by hurling them into a volcano. This storyline turned out to be unpopular. Many readers thought it was corny and out of character for 2000 AD, which never shied away from putting its characters to death. Wagner subsequently came to regret the action. Radfink, a highwayman and prisoner, was the last Angel Gang member to run into Dread in 2130. Radfink was eventually apprehended by the judges with a heavy loss of life, and Dread commanded his interrogation and execution. Ratfink kidnapped Dredd in 2134 after escaping jail and tortured him until Dredd took him hostage again. Chopper Marlon Shakespeare, often known as Chopper or the Midnight Surfer, is a resident of Mega City One and one of the most well-known sky surfers in the world. He has made multiple appearances in Judge Dredd tales, including Un American Graffiti, Oz, The Midnight Surfer, Song of the Surfer, Soul on Fire, the Big Meg, Earth, Wind and Fire, 20 Minutes to Midnight, and he even has his own eponymous book. Ron Smith and John Wagner designed Chopper, which Cam Kennedy then redesigned as Midnight Surfer. The average Mega City One Jew, Chopper was bored, restless, and had no future. Therefore, he made a name for himself as a wall scraper by confronting the judges using his unique graffiti style. Judge Dredd ultimately found him, but not before leaving his imprint on the massive Meg. Chopper began sky surfing while receiving treatment, participated in illegal super surfs, and eventually won the world championship. He was now competing with Australian sky surfer Jug McKenzie. Initially fierce opponents, the two ended up becoming friends. Chopper successfully evaded the law, as well as Judge Dredd, several times, but he was unsuccessful in succeeding in following super surf events. Next came Super Surf 11, a death race that Chopper barely made it through. In Song of the Surfer, Chopper is visibly shot near the finish line and was obviously intended to die. When the tale Earth, Wind & Fire came in the inaugural issue of the Judge Dredd magazine, many fans were outraged because they thought it diminished the emotional effect of the preceding storyline's ending. Warlock 
the title character of the famous 2000 AD comic Nemesis. The warlock was a fire-breathing demonic extraterrestrial who followed the deity Chaos, who was also revered by Deadlock of the ABC Warriors. He seemed to be a revolutionary freedom warrior on a self-appointed quest to liberate the galaxy from the termite fanatic Torquemada's bigoted human dominion. He thought Terminators had slain his son, Thoth and wife Kira under Torquemada's command. Still, unbeknownst to him, Thoth had actually survived by using an enchantment on Sir Hagen, one of the Terminators. As his fans said, Nemesis was by no means a kind and moral person. His long-standing companion, the human Purity Brown, finally concluded that he was actually not much better than Torquemada, frequently using his purpose as a justification for his own behavior. After the Warlock and his arch-enemy were both dead, their essences merged with the essence of the Blitz Spear and were doomed to roam the abyss of space forever. He possessed mysterious but powerful magical abilities, such as the ability to summon a powerful wind, change his appearance, make everyone fall in love, erase people's memories, resurrect the demons from the depths of his psyche, create an ectoplasmic duplicate of himself, and engage in telekinesis, telepathy, breathing fire, spitting acid, oh, and levitation. He possessed superhuman strength. He's capable of surviving on his own in zero gravity. Sometimes he can run out of fireballs. He employed the Necronomicon of Great Uncle Baal. He used the wicked Excessor Sword, crafted from Cham, a heavy star metal from Sothus, the second son of the Netherworlds. Warlock the Assassin A significant adversary in the Judge Dredd comic strip from 2000 AD is Warlock the Assassin. He works at the East Meg 1 megacity in the Soviet Union. He was birthed in East Meg 1, wherein his parents gave him over to the state when he was four years old, and they began preparing him to become a ruthless murderer with an unwavering allegiance to his hometown. He is a merciless assassin who served East Meg 1 until his city was destroyed, at which point he attempted to seek vengeance on Mega City 1. His main objectives were to infect Mega City 1's supply of water in order to make it more receptive to invasion, and to get revenge on East Meg 1 by wiping out Mega City 1 using the deadly virus via Sin City. He was a vengeful mass murderer. He has proven to be a brutal assassin with an unwavering commitment to his city. He intensely disliked Mega City 1 after the devastation of East Meg 1 and was determined to eradicate Mega City 1, whatever the cost. He was revealed to care for Psy Judge Anderson genuinely. Orlock has proven to be an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as shown by the fact that he stood his ground against Dread in Block Mania. He is a skilled marksman, since he easily dispatched multiple judges, and he is also at the height of his physical might because he was able to snap someone's neck. He is also a skilled planner, having brought about Block Mania and released a deadly virus in Sin City. Mean Machine Angel Mean Angel, sometimes known as Mean Machine Angel, is a recurrent antagonist in the Judge Dredd comic book series. He belongs to the Angel Gang and is one of Elmer Parr Angel's sons. Because of his preferred method of assault, a savage headbutt with his metal plate, he's known as Butting Man. His infamous dial has four settings. One, which represents his irritable and unpleasant disposition. Two, which is mean. Three, which is wicked. And four, which really is his cruel disposition. Mean Machine occasionally receives a headbutt so strong that it causes his dial to become stuck on 412, which sends him into a rage where he can't stop headbutting whatever he comes across. Extraordinary strength, super speed, extreme stamina, and durability were among his gifts and talents. Mean is a big, strong man with a lot of heavy cyborg equipment, a little dial with four settings on his forehead, an extensive optic, and a huge metallic claw for a left hand. Years after being amputated, his right arm is still a stump. Mean was once a contented, obedient, and amiable young kid, but Pa Angel ensured to mold him into a stupid, quickly enraged psychopath. As he had fallen in love with the popular Porsche wuss and consented to be conditioned into being a pacifist once again, Mean was was continuously boisterous and breaking the law. However, unlike the majority of his family, Mean was up to the task of not being violent. When this didn't work, he gladly went to jail. Mean has become friendlier and docile after his dial had been taken off. Nero Narcos A frequent foe in the Judge Dredd comic strip from 2000 AD is Nero Narcos. In the novella, The Doomsday Scenario, he served as the primary adversary. He was the one who hired Orlok the Assassin and Vitus Dance to kill a rival criminal, and he was also the one who started the Second Robot War. 
The Friends Mob is the most formidable crime syndicate in Mega City 1, and Nero is its leader. The Friends Mob has also been covertly destroying the new Judge Armament Mark II Lawgiver firearms, which the judges have already been equipped with after he managed to survive but sustain severe injuries during an assassination attempt. He was gifted with extremely high intellect. The judges began to gain ground in the conflict as Nero's robots suffer huge losses. Dredd and his squad return to battle in Mega City 1, and the judges, commanded by Deputy Chief Judge Hershey, fight back against Dredd's reprogrammed assassinators and heavy attack. By the time Nero finally realizes he's lost, Dredd's robots have already retaken command of Mega City 1's satellite systems, preventing him from carrying out his apocalyptic scheme. Twelve judges shot and killed Nero on the street, giving them back the power of Mega City 1. With the exception of the two hysterical girls he kept company with, Narcos was a superb strategist and a technical marvel with an ambitious attitude. Morton Judd The main enemy of Judge Dredd's narrative, Oz, is Judge Morton Judd. He also made an appearance as a flashback figure in Origins, which describes the origins of the judges as well as Mega City 1. Early in Goodman's career, Morton Judd, who is famous for developing the identical Fargo clones Joe and Rico Dredd, served as the department's head of genetics. Judd proposed a scheme to clone the most prominent judges and people after the Atomic Wars. Still, when this was rejected, he attempted to kill Goodman but failed and escaped to Australia where he developed the Juddar. His main objectives were to replicate judges to increase their numbers, to begin cloning Mega City 1 residents to enforce obedience, a move condemned by Chief Judge Fargo, in order to murder Fargo and to utilize his army of clone judges to seize control of Mega City 1. He was endowed with an extensive understanding of cloning and genetics. Judd was incredibly clever and cunning but he was also rather mad. He used the DNA of Dredd and Rico to construct the Jeddah cult and intended to topple Mega City 1 because he saw himself as destined to rule, although it was long after he left the city that something may have awakened in his mind. The Judge Child the Judge Child was a lengthy plot thread in the Judge Dredd comic strip that appeared in issues 156 to 181 of the British comic book 2000 AD in 1980. The Judge Child, a strong psychic figure named Owen Chrysler, was introduced. The Judge Dredd world was significantly broadened by the narrative, which was authored by John Wagner and illustrated by Mike McMahon, Brian Bolland, and Ron Smith. It also featured the well-known antagonist Mean Machine Angel, as well as the future head judge, Judge Hershey. A noteworthy sequel, City of the Damned, as well as other plot lines spanning the following 18 years, were all impacted by the Judge Child story's consequences. The narrative is significant for also introducing Alan Grant as Wagner's longtime series co-writer, commencing in the last episodes placed in Xanadu. Chrysler, while a small kid, appeared relatively normal aside from his eagle-shaped forehead mark and pitch-black eyes. Later, when he turned out to be a mutant, the rear of his head extended and his skin turned bulbous and yellow. His body was also longer and had more arms. His main objectives were to exact revenge on the Angel Gang for abducting him, to convince Dredd to return to Mega City 1 so that he could take over as ruler, to exact revenge on Dredd for leaving him back to Xanadu, to decimate Mega City 1 and subject its residents to suffering as the mutant, and to torture Dredd. Being a psychic sadist, he enjoyed making fun of others. The people. He delighted in foretelling people's demises in order to torture and murder the populace. Among his specialities were darkness manipulation, precognitive skills, reality warping, invulnerability, teleportation, manipulation, mind control, necromancy, ah, and telepathy. He first displayed apathy and emotionlessness in general. Later, he became nasty and exhibited his cruel side, informing Prosser that he would die from jigsaw disease while grinning wickedly. Judge Edgar The PSU was led for 22 years by Judge Jura Edgar. She had been the Public Surveillance Unit's previous director before being demoted and sent to supervise Cursed Earth Correction Facility 17. She was restricted to a hover chair because of the injuries that made her need to work at a desk. Because of her unsettling propensity to look over her colleagues' shoulders when they were working, she was given the moniker J. Edgar Hover. She was infamous for keeping records on essential people as well as her fellow judges. She occasionally utilized this knowledge to manipulate the department's hierarchy and hold on to her position. Edgar entered PSU when she was injured in the field of duty and lost the ability to use her legs due to a back injury. Edgar, an ambitious judge, was a member of the Citizens' Court, a tiny gang of judges that carried out vigilante killings in the 2090s. 
Edgar was able to make sure that the rest of the individuals were not discovered because of her position at the PSU. She forced the organization to split after 17 murders so that it would not hinder her professional growth. Judge Julio Ramos joined the Council of Five, and the other members of the court likewise rose to high office. She gained notoriety for her stringent rules and high standards for her employees. She occasionally played power politics with other judges to improve her own influence by using the vast amounts of private information at her disposal. Even the special judicial squad would steer clear of a confrontation with her. Armin Gill Armin Gill, commonly referred to as the Chief Judge's Man, frequently appears as a bad guy in the Judge Dredd comic strip in 2000 AD. Armin Gill was an ex-military assassin who had been genetically modified and reinforced with the DNA of a leopard and cockroach to improve his stamina and agility. Michael Iron Mike de Klerk, a renegade judge, hired him to assassinate political activists who opposed the Justice Department. He thought he was working directly for Chief Judge Hershey. He subverted Correction Facility 17 after being captured by Dredd, who believed he intended to kill a few aliens he was transporting and killing a prisoner there named Bubba O'Kelly, who was his predecessor blackmailing de Klerk. However, he grew frustrated and enraged when his promised rescue did not come through. He attempted to call the chief judge on a payphone after re-entering Mega City 1, where de Klerk tried to kill him. After escaping the attempted murder, he tried to kill the chief judge by sneaking into the Northwest Hab Zone Tunnel Project and boarding Jaws, a massive driller vehicle. When Dredd tried to stop him, the chief judge reportedly died in the ensuing struggle, thus it was too late. She was momentarily disclosed to be a robot decoy. The judges fatally shot Gill after he had been injured. De Klerk committed suicide himself after penning a confession in which he claimed responsibility for the crime. Nate Slaughterhouse the only way to preserve Sergeant Nate Slaughterhouse's life after being fatally injured on the battleground is to repair his body via artificial intelligence, which will make him more like a machine than a human, a man droid. After being released from the military, Nate comes back to Mega City One and struggles to adjust to his new life. When a terrible attack targets his family, his resentment becomes rage, and he turns to the alleys to administer harsh vigilante punishment. But in Big Meg, there is only one place for one law, and dread is investigating. This grim tale of retribution is 2008 at its heart-pounding finest. It was authored by John Wagner for A History of Violence and illustrated by Kev Walker for ABC Warriors, Simon Colby for Low Life, and Carl Critchlow for The Lobster Random. Vitus Dance Judge Dredge Universe in 2000 AD and magazines feature Vitus Dance. The Friends criminal organization recruited Vitus, a cursed Earth mutant with psi abilities, to kill an informant who was being detained in a high-security isocube in Mega City 1. A freelance executioner from the cursed Earth was Vitus Dance. He possessed telepathic abilities such as pyrokinesis, the capacity to start flames with the mind, flight, and the capacity to exert mental control over others. In 2117, mobster Nero Narcus hired Dance to assassinate an informant who was being held in jail. He kept two beloved scorpions with him in order to sting him when necessary, and scorpion poison increased the effectiveness of his abilities. Dance carried out this assignment by first enabling himself to be detained in order to approach his target and then flee. He was apprehended by Judges Castillo and Dredd and imprisoned in solitary for four years, and during that time, he lost his mind. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.